What is going on, everybody? My name is Bleeze. I'm here to talk to you today about Generative AI. This is a new project just recently released. This is a paid promotion. Uh, I want to talk to you about it for just a few minutes now. This is not an endorsement from me of the project in itself. This is me doing the marketing for you, showing you what I've seen so far. You do your own research and decide if this is an investment for you. The links are in the description down below. Now, we're going to get started with the price action right now. Looks like it's primed for a breakout. If I'm making a call on this, I would say that within the next little while, it's primed for a breakout. It has a $1 million market cap. Um, uh, it, volume a little bit low, but the, the, the level of liquidity is about 30%. This is a pretty decent, I, I, I like everything that I've seen so far out of this moving over to the twitter side uh, you can see some of the artwork that they've done so far and you have this update over here uh and it's uh dollar sign gai so the gay the gay announcement guy announcement i want to say I, uh, generative ai announcement is um uh, that they're going to have a stage two which is going to launch on june the 8th tentatively speaking you never know uh with these things but uh, if it works out perfectly, then uh, the generative AI staking is going to start. Modeling analytics, provenance, and prompt masking is going to be available too. Now, uh, let me go over to the website, and you can see super clean website. A uh, lot of a uh, lot of detail goes into it. Uh, you can see here you recently uh, people are recently listing their artwork, and you can see right here that a lot of this stuff is, is uh, very cool to look at, very cool to pay attention to. Um, uh, a lot of fun. Obviously, it's a lot of fun uh, to come over here and to do this kind of stuff. And we're going to do some. Uh, in, in fact, here we go. We're going to do a basket of fruit as we sit. We're going to generate it. And we're going to generate it using the Kandinsky 2.1 protocol. And we're just going to see what it looks like. Now, the, the odd thing about this is, of course, if you continue to do it, it's going to continue to look a little bit different every single time. But now you can really get an idea here look at the um, look at the lighting you can tell which direction the lighting is coming from you can see the shadows uh, you can see it looks incredibly realistic now uh, let's do this let's do this South Park style let's see what happens when we do a basket of fruit South Park style and let's see if it still picks up do we still get uh, a basket of fruit do we still get a fully uh, good looking basket of fruit or are we going to get something a little more comedy oriented a little more cartoon sort of oriented and <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness uh guys we we've just knocked it out of the park right here um if anybody remembers the member berries uh, i do believe that we have absolutely just nailed this uh right now this is one of the greatest things that i've ever seen on a screen right now you are absolutely welcome but let me talk a little bit about this Generative AI is proposing a decentralized network of computers equipped with the power of GPU to complete various tasks using AI technology. I am reading from a script here, by the way, just in case you guys didn't catch on by me doing that. Uh, these tasks can range from generating images and text to processing videos and audio. The network aims to make use of the excess computing power available from GPU operators who are looking for new ways to generate revenue. In this network, users can request specific tasks to be completed and the network will generate the results using its GPU resources. To incentivize participation, users can stake their tokens, which represent a share of the network's computing power. Uh, the network consists of different types of nodes, Consumers, producers, and validators. Consumers are the people that request the task. Producers are the people who complete the task. And validators are the ones who ensure the accuracy of the completed work. Uh, to ensure fairness and prevent abuse, the network employs various mechanisms. These include allowing consumers to dispute the quality of completed work, select validators in a deterministic manner, and implementing penalties for dishonest behavior. Uh, generative. AI believes in the power of open source AI models, which are transparent, collaborative, and adaptable. They envision a future where the best AI work is driven by the community and accessible to all. By fostering an open source ecosystem, generative AI aims to uh, accelerate AI advancement and promote fairness and innovation in the field. So um, remember, we also have the staking platform coming on June the 8th. So um, this is a very interesting and functional sort of AI technology that you're able to take advantage of uh, right here, right now. If you want to come over and check it out, all you have to do is go to the website and uh, feel free to adjust, customize, do whatever it is. Uh, model descriptions down here. Uh, this gives you an idea of what the Kandinsky does. Uh, here's some advanced, uh, here, here's some advanced. First of all, 
if you're an expert and a pro with this and you know exactly what these are, but uh, you also have Dream Shaper, uh, you have Luna Diffusion, Spider-Verse Diffusion, you have Portrait Plus, Kandinsky, of course, Open Journey, Hasdex, Stable Diffusion, Stable Diffusion, High Res, uh, GTA 5, Laura, and then the anime department, you have Anything, Pastel, and Waifu Diffusion, uh, which are available, and all you have to do is change everything into that and then start generating and modeling your own designs. and. Um, as a collaborative, uh, uh, there's a whole bunch going on for you, especially considering that soon uh, GPU, additional GPU resources are going to be available and staking is going to be available to reward you and incentivize you to continue to contribute and help with the project. Now, uh, that's my time. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, generative AI seems to me a fascinating art project right now and not only a fascinating art project but with an adaptive ai that aims to allow for photo and video rendering and integration and perhaps even editing my videos in the future if things hold up well then maybe we'll see uh something really fascinating happen and in addition to that uh there is talk that very soon uh, you're going to be able to create tasks uh, and you're going to be able to create a whole lot of different things that are going to happen. Um, so I'm certainly going to be fascinated. And uh, if you haven't already, you can go check them out. Uh, again, the descriptions are in the link down below. And uh, in closing, there is also, um, uh, I, I want to say that there's a, a um, uh, if you have a pen and you have a touch screen, then you can draw your own stuff on the screen and it will generate art for you. Uh, on one of their pages as well. So this is not financial advice. My name is Believes. I'm always ready. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, generative AI seems like a lot of fun. Um, let's see what happens next. We'll talk to you again. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed the show. Remember to sign up for MEXC, BitGet, and NordVPN. Down in the links. I'm looking for ways to get paid. I'm checking my coins around breakfast. Then again around bedtime. Bet this.